this is the three switch control bulb and we have uh, this switch control we have three switches and a single lamp we can control this lamp at any word in from using these three switches suppose we have uh, three a lamp is here and there are three rooms these switches are placed in three rooms then we can control this lamp from these three rooms uh, turn off or suppose here on you can turn off here also here also here okay that's is working off and this is very uh, very funny and the circuit we have a SPDT switch and SPDT two SPDT switches and an intermediate switch the working of intermediate switch is that at sit, uh, in the first position we have a contact like this I suppose it's one two one dash two dash and uh, the second position which is having a one one dash contact two two dash contact okay this is the intermediate switch how this work so in the circuit the circuit uh, we have this intermediate switches and uh, SPDT switch and uh, this common point of this two SPDT switches connect uh, joint okay and uh, neutral is connected to the bulb and the face is connected to C1 of the first SPDT switch or uh, any one of these okay and uh, P1 is also connected, that face is connect, also connected to the second position of the intermediate switch. Uh, now the C2 is, C2 of the first switch is connected to the bulb, other end of the bulb and also one is connected to, the, one of the intermediate switch is also connected to bulb. Okay. and now from this first position which is connected to P2 and from the second position of the intermediate which is connected to P1 of the SPDT switch second SPDT switch okay now the working is that we have a this S1 switch and then this S2 switch and this intermediate switch so we can sorry this s3 switch and s2 switch is this one and a lamp okay now this is at position c2 okay c2 this is not here actually want to want to do it something can make this there is no connection uh, now this contact C C2 is contact here okay C C2 and comes here we have the first position position 1 and this one is connected as PP2 okay PP2 now this neutral comes here and here I have a face one two through this no connection now here is there is a connection now this comes here c c2 here was c c2 then comes here p p p2 there is p p2 and comes here one dash one dash two is connected so it's go through this phase so the bulb will glow oh now if we switch is closed to cc2 in the same position sorry cc1 that is pp2 in position one that is this connection is not there a connection from cc1 so phase comes through this cc1 here and from here it's coming through this pp2 and comes here one one from one to this phase are shorted so and here the bulb comes here no connection to this no face no connection to this so bulb will be off likewise in the second time time if we consider this in this position we change this intermediate switch to second position 
so we have C C1 PP2 and position 2 okay this is position 1 position 2 now we have neutral here comes through this position 1 2 we have these two are contact making 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 the contact 2 2 dash and 1 1 dash so we have face no connection here so it's come here and the here 2 2 dash 1 1 1 dash and comes P2 from P2 there is a contact to P and P is coming through this C C to C1 we have C to C1 connection and comes here the face and the circuit is complete and the lab is on now if it is change this pp1 this pp2 position to pp1 that is at the same position pp1 position 2 that is when this position is come here pp1 dash now this one comes here sorry here and uh, there is no contact here so there is no connection to the face sorry there is no connection to face so it is off like where is happens so there is a lot of uh, nine nine combinations we can have if your switches on switches off and that is uh, in that position we have the four changes here like this it's goes we have number of positions and this is the working of a three switch control bulb it's a very good in the go down wiring and other it's helpful thank you